Thank you very much, British Airways, for bringing me to Malaga, even though I'd booked to go to Gibraltar. <laughs> oh well, I guess can't complain. Malaga is not bad. Marbella, here we come. What the hell is that a Chiron in front of me? Hello from Porto Benus, everyone. I was supposed to be in Gibraltar today, but thanks to British Airways, I am here in Marbella. Wow, it's so busy here tonight. I don't think you can get a table. Food poisoning time. Thank you, maybe later. G-Class. <laughs> uh, it's open, eh? It's always open, Mr. Bahrain. Always open. This is my friend Sammy, he doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm hiding him. Very famous person here in Marbella. You'll just see the back of his head. Wow. This is called low season in Puerto Venus. There's no one here. Not a lot of cars in Puerto Venus, apart from this old Bentley. That Velar looks quite nice, SVR, isn't it? This is the Paseo, which goes from Puerto Venus to God knows where. And as you can see, it's very quiet, apart from a couple of drunks. Gibraltar, nowhere to park in the streets here. So there's loads of car parks and this is my Ferrari for one more day until I get my car back. Some interesting properties in Gibraltar. Very small place in case you haven't been. Doesn't have a lot of things to see to be honest. I've been here for a long time, 15 years or so. Some apes on top of the mountain. And the main high street here. But that's just about it. Unless if you come here for shopping. There's a very nice friendly feel though. If you're just lonely and want to make some friends. Another thing about Gibraltar, it's very noisy. Wow, this must be the first Rolex dealer I've seen that has some decent watches. Hmm. Should I go in? That's the question.
That's a mall. Sorry about the shaky video, but um, I find it a lot easier to walk with this than with that silly gimbal. And this is it, the end of the high street. We got a square here at the end. And that's it, those blue buildings there. Ocean, ocean something or other. Um, they're like new. <laughs> Very informative. They're new and they've got a swimming pool and blah, blah, blah. In fact, I'm going to have a look at something in there very soon bit of england here because gibraltar is a british colony if you want to call it that so today um was supposed to land in Gibraltar in fact but the plane got diverted to Malaga up there is where you have the apes and a lot of antennas and a lot of tunnels as well in that rock in fact as you can see Gibraltar is not very big you're coming through here, crossing the runway, which is a very small runway. And then this is where the main high street is. They're actually um, starting to really build into the sea. So it's getting a little bit bigger. The main rock is up there where the apes den is. And there's a couple of beaches over there as well. Nothing spectacular, but if you want to bathe. Anyway, I need to go back home. Yes, believe it or not, I do live here. <laughs> uh, quite a substantial part of the year. And it's not bad because um, you can drive, in fact, from here to Marbella, Seville, Lisbon, Algarve, everywhere. So it's not that bad. Gibraltar does have a little kind of um, marina, shall we call it, which is just over there. I don't know if I'll have time to show it to you guys in this video, because I do have a lot of things today. But um, yeah, maybe I'll do another video. This is also a little corner where they have a few restaurants. It's a very quaint, yeah, it's nice, if you like the quiet life but also the very busy life because there are thousands of motorbikes and people and cars running around here you constantly see mopeds everywhere Gibraltar is not known for being very pretty in terms of architecture I have to say the old houses in town are beautiful, but um, they've built a lot of flats everywhere. And keep building. There goes the noise again. Oh my God. Building everywhere here. This is gonna be a new development. It's actually been going on for uh, quite a while. Don't know where they're gonna, when they're gonna finish it. Parking is a major problem in Chip. So if you don't have your own parking place, good luck to you. And now for our lunchtime news update, courtesy of BBC Radio 4. Good old BBC. With me, Sarah Montague. Boris Johnson promises to stop the automatic release of prisoners convicted of terror offences after yesterday's attack in South London. 
it is a liberal country, it's a tolerant country, but I think the idea of automatic Too tolerant, if you ask me. ...who obviously continue to pose a threat to the public has come Jesus. In of cash ...and a message of calm, but investors sold pretty much across the board. The equivalent of more than 300 billion... I keep seeing the same car around Marbella. Looks pretty mean, this. really love estates myself but it doesn't look bad this is central plaza i used to have an office here for quite a few years with an amazing view which i'm going to show you right now Oh, a drone. Oh. This is all right, mate. I think they're upset with the drone. This is probably the well, one of the most famous views of Marbella. There used to be, um, well, I don't know if they're still doing it, but there were plans to build a massive train station here. Um, one of the reasons why I actually bought an office here years ago, but I guess they never built it here. And there is Porto Venus. And Marbella is just there in the distance. Golden Mile and Marbella Harbor further up. Oh, they're really upset with that drone. Anyway. Got things to do. What's in the other room? Well, the other conference room is a big one. Oh, it's bigger. All right. Oh, yeah, I saw it on the way in. So, this is one of my lawyer's offices in Marbella, and it has a view of everywhere, really. Marbella and the Golden Mile. Not bad. Hola. Get out. I'm walking with the most famous lawyer in the whole of Spain. Um, it's actually very expensive to walk with him. He charges by the step. So <laughs> I'm going to stop walking now. So we are property hunting here. Uh, shall we drive? Up to you. I thought we were walking. He, he's there. Oh, you're right. It's very right. far. We um, should drive. It's like five meters okay. walk. Thank you. <laughs> Four square meters. 213 square meters. So wait, so so this, did you say here? No, this one here. The okay. sticker number four means four bed, two okay. bed, three bed, so on, yeah? Okay. So the penthouse is obviously bigger. Okay. It's a duplex, 250 square meters, 250 square meters built to excellent terraces, yeah? Okay, what, um, but does this have you then? This oh, yeah, they, they all have views, all of them, a lot of views. Okay. Price of this? Uh, the penthouse, that penthouse would be... This is Nine Lions Residences. It's a new development with quite a nice view. So I'm having a look at this with my lawyer today. See if we like something. And they're all finished. The construction is done, we're with the occupation. One one and one one ninety, no? Yeah, so that one's it's just been reserved to the guys I haven't uh, given me any money yet, so I can sell it to someone else if I want to. So basically one point two or one point one. Okay, let me see those two. Okay, perfect. We're going to have a look at a couple of the units here. Quite a big development. And, um, these guys are salt water. Salt water, yeah. Cool. 25 meters. 25 meters long, 3.2 deep. Salt water. Sunbeds all the way around. Okay, that's the room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
it's got, you've got but it's a very quiet road you've got uh, two toilets here on the right hand side sorry, you've got and the showers Yeah, one zero nine zero. Four bed, four and a half bath. But this one's available. And this Two. is sold furnished. Uh, this furniture is not included, though. No. This is um, 224 meters built, plus 90 terrace. Two car spaces, of course. And a storage room. Under for heating everywhere, water based. Okay. Not bad for one million. It's a bit far from the sea for me, but um, it's not bad. Very quiet. La marca es Ernesto Mera, de Italia, de Monaco. La plaza es muy amplia. I like new developments, new places, new flats. Four ensuite bedrooms here. Furniture is not included, but you can of course negotiate it and have it included. Or just get your own furniture. Lots of nice places in Marbella to get furniture. Definitely is very quiet here. Personally, it's a little bit, um, I don't want to sound snobbish, but um, not for me. <laughs> but it is nice, very nice. I would prefer a penthouse, obviously, if I wanted to buy. Every month on a loan and the bank guarantees to clients. Yeah. Wow. So that's a year of interest for nothing. Yes. So they're finished here and they don't have a license yet. So people can't move in. Or a bear style. So you get that part of the one and this one more. So these two, those two units, and so you're going to go this is a good one. You only get one car, then he's got two cars. And this is your story. Okay. You're very special. Oh, this is big. This is the sixth bedroom. There you go. So it's generous. You should test it out. You should sleep here tonight. See if you like it. Good, very good. Okay. Wow. Very hot in here, people. The heat's 
Position for one. Yeah. Pretty good, no? Technogen. Technogen is the best stuff in the world. Best equipment. So, uh, Technogen says. Oh, here you can do it. This is salt. And now this one's uh, bromine. Okay. Similar to bromine. Can't have the salt on indoors when you eat everything. Oh. Over here, you can have the training rooms and showers and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And then toilets are working. Toilets are there. Excuse me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Solar, the solar is still working. Cool. I'll tell Mr. Vuitton. <laughs> I'll tell Louis. <laughs> hey Louis, buddy. You're sleeping too. But yeah. <laughs> so what, what are they doing there? Huh? These things. That's, What's uh, going to happen with that? Shall we buy it? Rumors are. Shall we make 10 lines? Yeah, rumors <laughs> are it's being demolished. Okay. Somebody wants the land behind it up here, and in order to get it, they have to demolish that. Ah, those okay. are the rumors. Well, town Hall is learning now how I to get things true. demolished. I hope it's true. Oh. So this fits two cars. Yeah, of course, and a motorbike. This fits two cars. Definitely. Really? No, a side by side. Absolutely. Yeah. You have to stay in the car though. <laughs> Wow. Well, not two Uruses, I can tell you that for a fact. No, no. That's why I don't buy a second one. <laughs> <laughs> you man. No? That's why it's only about difference. You asked me for the 100,000 euros, yeah? That's where it is. That's the thing, right? But. You, you know everybody here in town. Yeah. I'm a lawyer for a long, long time. Family connections. You can find out that's going away or not. Yeah, but actually, I know a guy that doesn't do anything. There you go. <laughs> no, but I have heard a story that has disappeared. If it does, please be calling up. Show you what it's So this eyesore is um, a bit of an off-putting thing for anyone buying this place. You know, I've seen in Marbella these things stay for years and years and years as an eyesore. So you do need to take that into consideration buying something like this. So to put a pool here, you'd have to dig the garden down like he has. I mean, it's, it's like, to be very honest, it's sort of it. worth it to have it, yeah. Because I mean, what do you do with this garden? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, what you would do is over here, the entrance. Dog. So you could have down, a pool here. Down, and put, put the swimming pool at the bottom and have some grass in between. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Because you have to level this one too. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to go down. Is that what you did there? No? Yes, correct. So, which, which is good because in exchange you get some flat garden. Yep. <laughs> Again, that will be will be disappear. Yeah, the Let me see. Okay. It's very early in the morning here in Spain. I've just got a call that someone I've been wanting to meet for quite a while is in London. And um, I've had to catch a very quick flight back, or I'm going to catch a very quick flight back with um, EasyJet. <laughs> Never flown with them before. And the plane is going to land in South End. I didn't even know South End had an airport. Let's see how it goes. Useful. Escalator that doesn't work. Oh, 
Wow, very early. The sun is just rising here. Malaga Airport. And this is me, International Jet Setter. Where are we going today? Barcelona, Madrid, Paris, Lisbon, no, South End, <laughs> and with EasyJet. Good old security line at Malaga. That's why I usually go through Gibraltar. It's always busy here. Even this early. This is the VIP lounge at Malaga Airport. It didn't actually used to exist, I don't know, 20 years ago, something like that. 15 years ago, they made it and they've made some changes to it, changed the layout over the years. Quite a peaceful haven, because um, Malaga Airport is quite busy and gets a little bit overwhelming so i was sitting in the lounge here the vip lounge of malaga airport and i happened to look up and what the hell are these they're like bits of mdf basically ready to fall on <laughs> the vip passengers heads really um don't get this <laughs> They're just like hanging in the air. <laughs> okay, seriously, these MDFs are messing with my head. Southend Airport. It's almost as small as Gibraltar. Now I'm gonna go and catch the train into London. She's just here. Very handy. Not a bad flight. Easy jet. I wouldn't do it unless I had to. I don't want to sound like a snob. Um, but 
but yeah, I prefer British Airways to be honest, or private. built the airport then uh, I'm a bit sorry for you guys because it's very noisy here and look there's houses all along here it's really noisy with the planes because they're literally just here the runway is just there Liverpool streets. Oh, this journey is never ending. <laughs> <laughs> 